Hello, my name is Tristan Poole. I am a fourth degree black belt in Taekwondo, and I am a martial artist. Well, originally I got into martial arts when I was about seven years old, but before that, when I was about four or five, I grew up watching Power Rangers and things like Ninja Turtles. And that was just really inspirational to me as a kid, and I was just mesmerized by what I was seeing on screen. And so I try to go up to my mom and ask her, hey, can I take karate lessons? And she said, no, you're too young. Wait till you're about seven and we'll, we'll see. And after that, I turned seven. I did my first karate lesson and I was hooked from there. Growing up doing martial arts, it was there was good days and there was bad days uh, with like any other sport. Um, took a lot of hard work and dedication to get to where I am today. There were some days where I wanted to quit, but you know, I had to persevere and go through. And growing up doing martial arts, I made a lot of friends and made a lot of connections in uh, what I would say family in some cases. My first big achievement in martial arts, I would have to say, is earning my, black, my first black belt, which I was nine years old at the time. And some days I was frustrated in class and wanted to quit, but I had to keep going and keep persevering. I had to reach that first goal of being a black belt. And that was, one of my big biggest first achievements I ever done. After that, going to tournaments, competing, uh, I earned titles such as world champion, grand world champion, grand champion, in multiple different events like board breaking, sparring, forms, which is almost like choreography, which you see all the time in the Olympics, and all sorts of other events. Martial arts means to me, uh, it's a it's the art of combat, obviously, but it's also has a uh, it has a medi meditative side to it where you're almost like free flowing when you're moving around and doing things. I, I, I like to believe in uh, the Asian culture with Shaolin monks and being able to balance both physical and mental sides of martial arts and it's just what, what I'm most comfortable with. But there are many benefits of learning martial arts. One of the first benefits I would say is um, the ability just to be able to have confidence and talk to strangers and adults as well as having perseverance uh, which is going through you know all sorts of challenges throughout it uh, of course be able to defend yourself the obvious one <laughs> but more importantly knowing that you sh shouldn't just go around using your martial arts on random people that you actually want to try to talk your way out of the fight before actually having to fight so that was probably one of the bigger uh, benefits. Other than that, just be able to make connections, make friends. I have tons of inspirations. My biggest inspiration as I got older doing martial arts, of course, the, everybody knows Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee inspired me to do a lot of things and just watching his movies and reading his books helped me a lot in martial arts. I also have a lot of other inspirations that aren't as big as Bruce Lee obviously but they're big to me because I actually did martial arts with them and they've used their martial arts to get into the stunt industry and the film industry. So martial arts influenced me to be a film major in the biggest ways, the major biggest ways through Bruce Lee once again. Mainly because Bruce Lee already had a great philosophy on martial arts and how to express yourself through martial arts and that's what I did. Then he had another level of artistic creativity, which was with, through film, and he was able to express his martial arts and the way he felt about martial arts through his film. In Cantonese, Jeet Kune Do, the way of the intercepting fists. And I was like, man, you know, that's that's really that's really cool. I kind of want to go in that route myself. So that's initially why I wanted to get into filmmaking, and also just throughout Hong Kong cinema with films like Donnie Yen. Um, Jet Li, uh, Jackie Chan, the old samurai films back in the day. Just all that kind of just inspired me to want to go into the filmmaking route and to also do possibly action films. I would tell them that it would be a great idea. There would be a lot of benefits besides just learning self-defense uh, that you could get out of it. It is probably one of the most humbling sports that I have ever done, so don't go into into it thinking that you're gonna be super great on the first day because everybody has a rough first day. It's just the way it is. And you're, you could get great exercise out of it if you're not looking just for like, to be like the best black belt ever, but it's great exercise as well. And yeah, it's just a, it's a really great choice to make.